Tip Benson here. Welcome back to my channel, the place to be to help you find fragrances that you love. In today's video, you know, it is all about summer. I know you guys are super interested in summer scents, so we are going to jump right into it. I'd love if you leave a comment right now and let me know what's your scent of the day. Also, let me know the fragrances that you plan on wearing this summer season. Your girl is super curious. So shout out to everyone who's been encouraging me to post more videos from Instagram. You guys have been sliding in my DMs and I appreciate you. I really do appreciate all the love and support that you give me from platform to platform. You guys are my riders and I love you for that. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely follow me there. I'm super responsive. I try to answer as many questions as I can. I try. Your girl is trying over here. But today I'm answering a big question that so many of you have wanted. You love designer. You love it. And I'm here to deliver it for you. Niche list has already been posted for 2020. You're welcome. I enjoyed putting that together for you, so I will leave it in the cards. And let's go ahead and just jump right into this video. Thumbs this up and let's get started. First fragrance that I want to share with you is a fragrance that I really do enjoy. It comes in a stunning bottle. This is Tommy Bahama Maritime Deep Blue. And it's a stunning, woody, aromatic fragrance that I am recommending for summer. Prominent notes here are juniper oil, bergamot, cedar wood, rosemary, and musk. And I really like this scent because it has that, you know, sometimes these fragrances, they do that shower jelly thing. Well, this is one of those scents that smells like you've just come out of the shower. But again, it's inspired by the deep blue ocean. So you're gonna get some oceanic aquatic notes. I really do think it's a great one for summer and it's a beautiful one to have in your collection. The bottle is just stunning. Up next, we have something special from the house of Bulgari. This is Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. So this scent is a woody, floral, musky scent, and it is actually a flanker to Bulgari Man. Prominent notes here are Neroli, orange blossom, and woods. I like this one a lot. It smells quite similar to Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. It's definitely in the same vein. It's clean, it's sophisticated. It makes for a really good choice for summer. Up next, we have a gorgeous scent from John Varvatos. This is Artisan Pure. Now this fragrance is a citrusy scent which was inspired by coffee and citrus groves of Jalapa, Mexico. Prominent notes here are bergamot, citrusy notes like lemon, mandarin, and also this fragrance has an amber woody base. This is a really great scent that puts a smile on my face. The first time I encountered this scent was when I did an open box review with Imitsu from Simply Put Scents. It's a special one, it's perfect for summer, it's so easy to wear. Wearability is like at 100% on this one. It's the perfect fragrance for summer. And again, the bottle design is really gorgeous. I love it and I'm highly recommending it. Up next, we have a scent that I'm just super excited about. Men's fragrance is killing it for summer. I'm really enjoying this Chrome Aqua by Azaro. This is a wonderful, sexy, aromatic, aquatic scent that really can be worn anytime during the summer. And it was inspired by the ocean and the deep blue sea. Prominent notes here are basil, grapefruit, and vetiver. Oh my God. And what I love about this scent is that it is just so creamy and delicious. That's not something that you get quite often from a freshie, Freshies are usually sharp and super bright, but this one is kind of mellow and cool and seductive and like creamy, but it still manages to be super fresh and perfect for summer. Highly recommending this one, um, possibly a sleeper scent, um, but Again, this is something that I think is worth adding to your collection. Up next, we have a fragrance from the house of John Varvatos. This is another scent that I really adore. This is the Nick Jonas John Varvatos collaboration, and it's perfect for summer. This fragrance is a fresh aromatic fougere, which 
this 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 scent is just it holds a special place in my heart because when this fragrance was actually released i got a chance to hang out with nick jonas and even john Varvatos and chuck it up and understand a little bit more about this fragrance i learned from nick that this fragrance was inspired by his grandfather he took inspiration from fragrances that his grandfather would wear so this kind of has like that retro feel it's a strong fragrance but it's also a deep freshy it has prominent notes of rosemary mint so again it's doing that fougere thing where it's kind of like herbally and very aromatic it also has lime and a sandalwoody base it's great you can't go wrong with it. it works really well for summer and i'm highly recommending this one there's no way that i could have a summer fragrance list without mentioning this staple it should be a staple in any body's collection this is blue de chanel Puffum. So this is a flanker. There are several different ones, a EDT, a Eau Parfum, and this is the Parfum version. This is my favorite of them all. It's a woody aromatic fragrance with notes of citrus, labdanum, cedarwood, and sandalwood. If you're a sporty gentleman, if you're in the office type of guy, classic professional, this is the scent for you. You just can't go wrong. You can dress it up and dress it down and it's very versatile and I think it fits seamlessly into any man's collection. This is another scent that I could just, I mean, this should make everyone's list, just saying, because it's that good. This is Dior Sauvage and this is the EDT concentration. There are many flankers to this fragrance as well. This is the EDT, I believe it's the original. To me, why I prefer this fragrance is because it's the way I feel the perfumer intended it to be. It's sharp, it's iconic, it has this bad boy vibe, which is also very clean. It's very embrox and heavy, which gives it that sharpness. Some people might not be into it, but I certainly am. It also has like citrus elements that keep it fresh and clean. So I think it works really well for summer. I love smelling this scent on a guy. It kind of makes me turn my head like, oh, hi, how are you? It's a good one, can't go wrong. And the sprayer is fabulous. Love that. I was looking for my scent, my next scent, and I had it in my pocket. That's hilarious to me, because who, who carries fragrance in their pocket? <laughs> next scent that I want to talk to you about is from the House of Gucci. This is Memoir d'une Odile by Gucci. So this is a special one to me, and I'm going to just preface this right now by saying it might not be for everyone, and that's okay. That's actually better for you because you stand out and you will be unique. This fragrance is an herbally, woody floral scent, which was inspired by the idea of creating something that is universal and timeless. It's a gender-bending scent with notes of Roman chamomile and Indian coral jasmine. A lot of men seem to like this on me, but I would gather because I feel like this is a more masculine type of fragrance. Sleeper scent, but again, it's not for everyone. If you're someone who has very unique taste, someone who is more daring, I would give this one a try. And you can wear it all year round, not just for summer. Up next, we have another scent, which I talk a lot about here on this channel. This is Wanted by Night by Azaro. So this is a fabulous scent. I am recommending it for summertime, but summer nights out. Don't do this during the day. Don't go to church with this. You know what I'm saying? This is not like a office appropriate fragrance. And this is something to me that performs really well during the night. It's just a night vibe in a bottle. Prominent notes here are cinnamon, mandarin, incense, and tobacco. It's all about a sweet tobacco. It's sensual, it's alluring. It has a lovely cedar wood dry down and the sillage is quite incredible in this. You can this is, this is one you can catch people with. You can catch people or off guard with it. So definitely give it a try if you're looking to like spice up your life with um, something that will capture people's attention. Last but certainly not least, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier's 
in the navy. So this fragrance is a part of the Lamal collection, which there are a ton of different flankers. In the Navy was created in 2018 and it is an oriental fougere. It has prominent notes of peppermint, salty aquatic notes, and vanilla. So this fragrance is often compared to Versace Eros, which it does seem like it's in the same vein where Versace Aero seems more for fall and winter. In my opinion, this fragrance seems like it's more for summer. The saltiness and the vanilla note are just like a match made in heaven. And I enjoy this. I enjoy smelling this in the warm summer months. So I'd love to hear more about the fragrances that you like to wear for summer. Definitely leave me a comment right now and let me know what fragrances you will be wearing in the hot summer season. Also, let me know what type of videos do you want to see here on this channel? As you can tell, I am being more active here and I need some video ideas. You know, I want you to enjoy it. So definitely leave me a comment and let me know what I should post next. As always, the conversation continues in my private group of fragrance lovers online, the Fragrance Society. Each week I send out an exclusive email delivered right to you of all things fragrance so that you can stay in the know and keep your fragrance game on point. So definitely subscribe. I will leave a link in the description for you to subscribe now. So thank you so much for watching. I enjoy you spending time with me here on this channel. You know I love you so much and I love you forever. Don't forget to watch what's up next right here for you. Subscribe to my channels and I will definitely catch you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.